Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today we are live swatching the Moonshine Manny Runners Up Collection. This will be launching on January 14th and I'll have sales info down below for you. If you enjoy live swatches, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. So we are going to start out with this gorgeous one. This one is called Snowsicle Glimmer, which is a soft snowy blue cream glowing with blue, purple, green, gold iridescent shimmer and platinum flakies. So these will be $12 a piece and it's actually an 10 piece collection with one add-on. I was able to get my hands on five of the polishes so I will be showcasing those today and I know the light makes this look extremely light but as soon as you turn down your lights just a little bit if you're super super bright lights all over the place it's actually this gorgeous frosty pale blue and it gave me actually more Easter vibes when I looked at it so definitely going to be keeping this one on hand for a while and next up is Lumen Magic this one is described as a medium violet base filled with sapphire shimmer and green to blue iridescent flakies I, of course, am loving it because I love purples, but also because Moonshine Manny has a fantastic formula. Now, this one I did need in three coats because my visible nail line is pretty prominent, but I still really enjoyed the experience of the application because I did three thin coats, which meant it built up nicely but it also got a chance to dry in between each coat. I don't know if I mentioned this nearly enough, but you kind of want to let that happen. Um, I know that sometimes I get overzealous. I really just want to see it at full opacity right away, and I will either glob it on or <laughs> the other fun mistake that I make during application is applying that next coat a little too soon which can cause it to look patchy if you're applying it that way so definitely quick tip I know all my pros out there already know it but let each coat dry <laughs> but next up is this cutie oh so much fun I I don't know. I used to not be a fan of Crellies and now I kind of am. And I don't know if it's because of Crellies like this or the straight up white Crellies, but they have definitely given me a change of heart. So here is Scoop. There it is, which is in, it's actually described as an aqua blue glitter Crelly filled with a variety of pink and blue glitters. So I love these glitters. I was a little mad while I was applying it before the camera because this was the first time since I swatched it that I didn't immediately get a pink one. I don't know if it's because um, I was doing it live and whenever you're doing something live, anything that can will go wrong, but I didn't need more than two coats on this polish. I just kept going because I wanted to get a pink in there for you guys to see because I always do a side by side and I feel like that's a true representation because that little burst of extra color, that little burst of contrast is just what you need to make this a really exciting polish and I think that was something that I had to show I wasn't going to feel complete until I got it so the whole purpose of me fooling around with my nail is getting that for you but um while we are 
If you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to leave me a like. Let me know if you're kind of excited about these runner ups from the Facebook customs because I am. And I also want to let you all know the 10 piece collection during the first 48 hours of the launch will have an add on available. And of course, you know, the deal with the add on is always added on for free during those first 48 hours, but it's available for purchase separately afterwards. And the whole collection will be 106. So we're moving on with everything she does is magic. And this one is described as a mint cream packed with iridescent flakies shifting through green, blue, gold, and purple, and black, and iridescent glitters in a variety of shapes and sizes. So you really get a lot in this polish, but without it feeling overdone or too confusing or too busy. It just all goes so well together. And again, beautiful formula. It applies so smoothly and so buttery and it's got like just the tiniest bit of squish to it when you get to that second coat but that's just me um definitely enjoyed this one again I am starting to really feel those springy Easter vibes because of these like pastel shades but we are going to move on to our last and final polish of the five that I got out of the collection. This one is tartarly awesome. It is a tart orange packed with pink, orange, gold, green iridescent flakies. And I, of course, enjoyed it. I did want to quickly note that my camera is making it come up a little more vibrant and a little darker than it actually is in person so for reference pay attention to the still photo if you're looking for about how color correctness it is because it is closer to the shade that you're getting on that very first coat but as I added coats for full opacity my camera said oh this is orange you're missing a little orange. And I'm like, no, I'm actually not missing any orange at all. It's perfect the way it is. And the camera was like, yeah, 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 sure. Gotcha. So <laughs> we're going to finish painting my thumb and then we are going to move into the side by side. And then I will be showing you the other polishes outside of the collection that are going to be released. So that is the side by side and I felt like it was especially important to do with these polishes because you've got an icy blue, you've got a aqua blue, and then a mint green. So a side by side in these kinds of cases I feel really makes a difference especially if you're kind of stuck in between the two. So we are going to keep moving right along into the pictures which is our first that's the facebook group limited edition custom and it will be available well it started being available december 17th through january 17th it's called red bird in the white snow it's a white base glitter curly filled with red orange and brown glitters multi-chrome flakes shifting red copper gold and copper shimmer and it will be twelve dollars next up from that is our project dupe it which will be coming out on the 14th as well it's la vida loca and it's inspired by opi la bohem it's a rich crimson wine base leaning poem packed with pink red gold green iridescent shimmer and let me just tell y'all, I'm in love with this polish. I am absolutely smitten over it. And I think it would go really well with Red Bird and the White Snow. 
but that is it for me today. I just want to say thank you so much if you're part of my nail fam for joining me. I appreciate everything you do, sending out virtual hugs to all of you. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and coming to hang out with us sometime. As always, take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you in my next video.